Tuesday in Tryon, North Carolina, and I hope you're having a good day. I certainly have had one, and we got the rain that we've been needing so badly, and uh, so we're thankful for that. But you have you had a bad day, I mean, a day when you said, what else could go wrong? Or, or how about one of those times when you had two bad things that happened, and you thought, you know, it's got to come in threes. There's going to be one more that's going to happen. Well, consider Jesus. Jesus had a bad week. He was desired to be killed by the Sanhedrin. Judas, one of his own disciples, betrayed him. Peter denied him three times. His disciples were all too proud and kind of fell away, even though he had done all of the miracles that he'd done. He was mocked on the cross by his own people and the Romans crucified him. I mean, what else could go wrong in a week's time? And yet, Jesus gives us very, very good advice in John chapter 14, verse one. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Yes, Jesus told us don't let our hearts be troubled. Bad times do come. And he told us that in John 16, 33. He said, in the world you'll have trouble. He told us over and over again, look at John 14, 27. Look at John 20, 19. Look at John 20, 21. Look at John 20, 26. It, it, it's amazing, isn't it? Jesus said, don't let your hearts be troubled. Don't let the things of life get you down. He promised us a new place, a place called heaven. He, he promised us that not only would we have a new place, we'd have a new peace. It's a wonderful thing when you can have a new place and a new peace. And that's exactly what he promised us. So if things are really getting you down today, if this has been a bad week so far, or if you're just waiting for that other shoe to drop, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in the Father, believe in the Son, and have a peace knowing that he's in control of all things. A new place, a new peace, and wait a minute, there's one more. A new pledge. The new pledge is he's coming again. And he's going to rule and reign. An eternity with him in heaven. What a wonderful thing. A new place. A new peace. And he's coming again. A new pledge. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.